Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, we've been talking about AR Explorer, which is a feature we are expecting to see roll out in Windows 11 24H2, which is this year's annual feature update. Now, if you want more info, I'll leave a video in the end screen regarding AR Explorer. But just a quick recap, AR Explorer will separate AR PCs from non-AR PCs and will come with a built-in history timeline feature, making every moment searchable in the OS. Now, as I've mentioned previously, the difference between Copilot and AI Explorer will be currently Copilot in Windows 11 brings centralized AI assistance to the Windows 11 desktop, where AI Explorer will be a souped up version, for want of a better word, of Copilot, which will be integrated into the actual shell of the OS, like your start menu, your taskbar, file explorer, settings, and so on. And as mentioned, um, we'll be capable of searching basically everything on your device, coming up with editing suggestions using artificial intelligence. So that's basically the difference between Copilot as we know it and AI Explorer. Now, in regards to AI Explorer, some more information now has surfaced in last week's Windows 11 build 26200, which is the latest insider build for the Canary Channel insiders. And a couple of uh, interesting strings and features have been spotted, which um, will give us an indication as more or less what to expect as to possible features of AI Explorer and what AI Explorer will be able to do. Now, Phantom of Earth over on X has spotted the first couple of strings, and I'm just going to quote these and read these. Um, the first couple of strings include the first is screen understanding is off. The next one is turn it on to continue enjoying ARX power. Another one is screen understanding is on. The next is AR host is not running. Screen understanding is paused. Then another one is AR host is not responding. And then the last one, just to mention for this video, is try terminating arhost.exe from task manager. So we know from that that arhost.exe will be the process that's running in the background that will be running the whole AI Explorer feature um, in Windows 11 24H2. And obviously you'll be able to end that task or restart that um, task and process from the task manager when that feature becomes available. So that gives us a little bit of insight into more or less what to expect regarding um, AI Explorer. And then Albacore has also spotted some interesting things and has spotted a screen capture feature in the AI Explorer. And this was also posted on X. And the screen capture feature regarding AI Explorer, as the name implies, will capture your screen and process it using artificial intelligence. And then... Something else Albacore has spotted, if we just head to this image provided, here we can see something interesting, where there's a new icon. So here we can see in the uh, fluent icons, the highlighted icon, here to the right hand side, and if we just go to another image, here we can see the possible AI Explorer icon, which will be used as the actual official icon for AI Explorer. And something else which is quite interesting is if we just head to Copilot, we can see that although it's different, it's got a very similar layout and design to Copilot as we know it. So um, Copilot's icon currently as it is, and this is the AI Explorer icon. So very similar to Copilot, but has a couple of little differences going on here to the top bottom and obviously in the center. And I thought that was interesting. And as I have mentioned, uh, in previous videos, AI Explorer though is going to have to is going to be run on a system that's going to have to be packing quite a couple of um, impressive um, hardware requirements. And I have posted a video on the possible system requirements for AI Explorer in Windows 11 24H2. That'll be in the end screen. But just a quick recap: um, it requires ARM 64, a CPU at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, a minimum of 225 gigabytes on the system drive, and Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus with NPU. So that's the neural processing unit which is required uh, as part of the AI Explorer and AI PC. So there's a little bit more info regarding AI Explorer um, rolling out with 
24H2. So as I get information, obviously I'll put it out there and keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.